English 113, Grammar 1. Chapter 13, Modals. Part 2, Advice, Necessity, Requests, Suggestions. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Understand the form and the meaning of modals. You should appropriately. Use have plus infinitive. Have to, has to. Use must appropriately. Make polite questions with may I, could I, and can I. Make polite questions with could you and would you. Form and use imperative sentences. Use let's appropriately. Form. Modal auxiliaries are immediately followed by the base form of a verb. Modal auxiliary can, I can swim, may, it may rain tomorrow, will, we will be in class tomorrow morning, must, you must see a doctor, should, Huda should study harder, have to, Mary has to study tonight, let's, let's go to the park. Notice that the base form of the verb always goes after the modal auxiliary. Expressing advice, should plus base form. Should means this is a good idea. You should to give advice. My clothes are dirty. I should wash them. Tom is sleepy. He shouldn't stay up late. You're sick. You should see a doctor. Expressing necessity, have plus infinitive which is to plus the base form. Have plus infinitive expresses the same idea as need. Use have to plus base form or has to plus base form to express necessity. People have to eat food. Jack has to study for his test. I had to study last night. Do you have to leave now? Why did you have to leave early yesterday? Not have plus infinitive expresses the idea that something is not necessary. Tomorrow's a holiday. I don't have to study tonight. Expressing necessity. Must plus space form. Must means that you do not have a choice. Must expresses necessity. I must study tonight. I'm going to take a very important test tomorrow. You must not be late for work if you want to keep your job. You must stop completely at a stop sign. Must versus should. You must take an English course. You cannot graduate without it. It's necessary to take the English course. You don't have a choice. You should take an English course. It will help you. It's a good idea to take the English course. You have a choice. Polite questions. May I, could I, and can I, plus the base form. Use may I, could I, and can I to ask for someone's permission or agreement. Examples of polite questions. May I please borrow your pen? Could I please borrow your pen? Can I please borrow your pen? Typical responses. Yes, of course. Of course. Certainly. Sure. Which is informal. No problem, which is also informal. Polite questions. Could you and would you plus the base form. Use could you and would you to ask for someone's help or cooperation. Polite questions. Could you please open the door. Would you please open the door. Typical responses. Yes, of course. Certainly. I'd be glad to. I'd be happy to. Sure, which is informal. No problem, which is also informal. Imperative sentences. Base form. An imperative sentence begins with the base form of a verb. Imperative sentences give orders, directions, advice, and requests. Stop. Thief. These are orders. And stop is the base form of the verb, which begins in all imperative sentences. Open your book to page 24. These are directions. Don't worry. This is advice. Please close the door. This is a request. And here we have a mother telling her child to be careful using let's plus space form. Use let's to make a friendly suggestion. Let's is a contraction of let us. It's plural. 
The weather is beautiful today. Let's go on a picnic. What should we do tonight? Let's go to a movie. Summary chart. Modal auxiliaries and similar expressions. Auxiliary can, meaning ability, polite question. Example, I can swim, can you please help me? Auxiliary could, meaning past ability, also polite question. Example, I couldn't go to class yesterday, could you please help me? May, meaning possibility or polite question. Examples, it may rain tomorrow, may I help you? Auxiliary might, meaning possibility. It might rain tomorrow. Auxiliary must, meaning necessity. Example, you must have a passport. Auxiliary should, meaning advisability. Example, you should see a doctor. End of chapter 13.